So Adobe XD has got a game-changing new feature and in this video, we're going to take a look at how it works. Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this video, we're gonna be jumping into Adobe XD and taking a look at their game-changing new feature, Auto Animate. Now this was announced at this year's Adobe Max and honestly, this is a feature that I didn't see coming. This is the ability to literally automatically work out the animation to go from one state of an object to another, whether you're changing position, opacity, color, or all this crazy stuff. They could be text animations, button animations, parallax scrolling animations, like what you can create with this auto animate feature is like virtually limitless. So anyway, that's enough hype, let's jump into the video. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD and you can see I've got eight artboards on screen. These are sized for the Apple Watch. And you can see we have some switches. And what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is how to use Adobe XD's new auto animate feature to actually make these switches work in a prototype. So you can see, first of all, I'm in design view and I've created all of the different states for the switches. So in the first start board, we have all of the switches set as inactive. And down here, we've got the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one active individually, and then all of the others turned off. And a bit further down here, we've got all of those other states. So we have two switches at one time. And then lastly, we've got all of the switches that are set as active. Now there's lots of artboards here, lots of repetition of color and shapes, so you can use symbols, and you can see here I've added the colors as well to the asset panel. This is great for saving time. So if I go and edit this, I can just edit everything in one go. So it's definitely worth setting it up in a way like this, so you can just make quick changes across all of these artboards if you need to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just switch over to prototype mode. And if you'd like to download this XD file and have a go yourself, it will be linked in the description of the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be animating these first three along the top here. And then your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is going to be to then animate these as well down the bottom to get this into a fully working prototype. And you'll be able to do that using the techniques that I'm about to show you now. So let's go back up to the start. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is go to this first artboard and when a user clicks on this switch here you'll notice that this isn't grouped together these are individual items because we only want to slide this part of the switch we don't actually want to move the bar that it's on so with the switch itself selected we've got the blue tab here and we can click and drag this to the respective artboard this is of course going to activate that top switch and we get this pop-up appear here and under action, we can change that from transition to XD's new auto animate feature. And the destination here is top active. So that is the name of this artboard here. And the trigger is set to tap. And we've got some new modes now that we can, uh, that we can use, new easing modes. So that's cool. We've got snap, which we're going to use because it's nice and quick and snappy as the name suggests. And of course, you can set a duration here if you like as well. I think I'll just leave it at 0.3 seconds. That's totally fine. And whatever settings you use here, if I just click off this now, it will then use these when we come to do our other switches as well. So that saves time. So if I go to the top left corner, we've got the play icon. We'll just bring this preview up and pop that in the corner there. And you can see here, I click the switch and it works. Brilliant. So that's uh, that's a good start. So now what we need to do is do the second one. So again, we're going to select option to switch and of course drag this to the respective artboard. In this case, it's the middle one. And you can see it remembers all those same settings. So we can do the same for the bottom one as well. And it's always a good idea to name your artboards as well um, because when a prototype can get very complicated, it's quite handy to just look at the name of the artboard and know exactly what is supposed to be happening there, especially if it's someone else who is picking up your prototype who isn't perhaps as familiar as you might be. Okay, so let's click play again. Now we've linked all three switches and that one works. Let's just play that again. And the bottom one works. That's fantastic, but we've got no way of going back now. So let's just close this down. So what's happening here is the auto animate feature is taking the starting point, so this position here, 
and it is automatically making that transition in this artboard here so the color changes the position changes and option one becomes highlighted so as you move from that first artboard to this top active artboard xd is determining what is changing and as the name suggests auto animating all of those elements so now what we need to do is we've got all of our switches on our first artboard linking from the inactive state now we need to link everything back so let's take an inactive switch from here and what happens is when the user clicks this switch this will activate the middle one but of course you can see here that it deactivates the top one so it's really just a case of looking at this and thinking okay what's going to happen when a user presses this switch here well of course it's going to activate option three and disable both of the other ones so i'll drag this to the bottom active artboard now we can just go through these now so this is going to activate the top one and you can see it remembers all of these settings so that's super super handy and I'm just dragging this around to the respective artboards so just run through in your mind what's going to happen when someone clicks on this switch and then that will inform you as to which artboard you should be linking to and then you can press command or control A on the keyboard to show all of your links and if I just go back to these ones that are already selected when a user clicks an active switch it will deactivate and then go back to the beginning so we'll just select all the active ones now so what we've done now is we've actually created a prototype where we can select all the switches they work but we can only select one switch at a time so if we click play you'll see that as I select different switches the other ones become inactive and I can actually set them all back to inactive as well but I can't set it so that they're all on so I'm going to show you one more example here and then it's over to you remember to download the file linked in the description and see if you can get the whole prototype working so when I set this up it was so you could only have one switch active at any one time so that's when I added these additional artboards here so for every other state that is possible we have a new artboard so for example if we go back to top active here we have this one switch that is on if this switch here which currently links back to this artboard is on actually this links to this artboard so what I'm doing now is I'm going a step beyond having only one switch active at any one time and now making it so we can fully turn on and off any switches as we like so this one now links to this and if I click play I'll turn on the top one that's this artboard here and now if I select option two it turns this one on as well and that is taking me to this artboard and now this is where you come in this is your challenge to take all of these remaining artboards at the bottom for all the other states and get these working in a prototype of course I will include a completed version as well so you have the version with the challenge and then the version that is fully complete if you get stuck or if you'd like something to reference just to see how it looks when it's all done ah oh, and there we go there's a look at Adobe XD's new feature auto animate for me this is an absolute game changer and I'm having a ton of fun seeing what I can create with this how far can I really push this tool so if you'd like to check it out remember to download the latest version of XD wherever it is on your computer and also linked in the video description are the source files that we used in this tutorial if you'd like to have a go at the challenge but if you've got any questions or comments please do drop those down below as well but as always like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time